We worked a lot with actually models and tried also lighting um, uh, on models, on, on miniatures, you know, for the sets that we were building. But, so you're um, not talking about like 3D modeling. You're talking about no, physical like, yeah. miniatures and lighting. To, that's yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah. I don't think, I, I don't no, no, think, I, yeah. I, I think that's kind of an interesting approach. And is this typical for you in your workflow or is this something you employed just for this film? No, but I like to do that. I mean, uh, I think we work with that quite a bit, you know, like that um, art department builds miniatures that are usually in cardboard, you know, that, that are just a set so we could visualize it. You can go in there with a little iPhone or look at like people at the correct heights and see where things are. And we would do that for seeing sort of depth of sets before they built them, right? That's like how we, they like to present those models oftentimes. And and um, but I also used them for lighting. Like there was, for example, one set at Safin's uh, island. You know that whole sequence. His island is a lot of that. Like most of that is shot in pine wood. You know, stage. And yeah, uh, we discussed whether we should do that exterior garden if we should shoot that outdoors because it's an outdoor set. But we also wanted that whole sequence for. Uh, th- as a theme to be uh, in uh, sunset, you know, going from late afternoon sun into sunset for the theme of that sort of sequence was, um, was very much lit that way. And, um, and so controlling the lights, I felt like ideally we should build that on stage if we could. And it was just that the set was huge. So we needed a stage that fit that set. So they, mm. they built, we tested, you know, they built um, these, um, this model and, we tested ways of lighting that to create, to fit a sun in there. And that was like very much thanks to the model that we could test with a light source and see if we could, you know, find a way to open up that set in order to get the light in the right way. And, and that way you become more sort of prepared and economical, I guess, on the, on the day two, if you, if you uh, do that and, and you can really, you can very much, you know, Visualize it, doing it with your eyes and see it and try different. It's quick, you know, it's quite easy too.